church, a church alive is worth the drive. I'm going to continue on the subject, Don't Lose Hope, part two. Now, we talk about, uh, about not losing your hope. What causes people to lose hope? They begin to worry. You know, worry will cause you to lose hope. You know that? Your hope is the anchor of your soul. You gotta have that anchor, anchor down in the word of God. Anchor your thoughts, anchor, anchor your thought life back to the word of God. You know, Philippians chapter four and verse six out of the Amplified Bible, it says, do not be anxious or, or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation, Let your prayers, petition with thanksgiving continue to make your specific request known unto God. In everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific request known to God. Don't, don't worry. You know, worry is, uh, is worse than a tobacco habit. Some people, they're addicted to smoking. They're addicted to tobacco. They don't have kill you. But worry will flat kill you. Worry will kill you. We don't understand everything. I remember one time a friend of mine, <laughs> he said he went to a restaurant or went to a restroom and there's a man in there. He looked like he was about 98, 97 years old. And he, and he was puffing on this cigarette or pop. And this friend of mine said, you know what? Here he is about 96, 97 years old. He said, one of these days that's gonna kill you. <laughs> Can you imagine, he'd be smoking all his life. We don't know that, but I tell you what, smoking is not good. Uh, it's not good for your health, it's not good for your lungs. And uh, it, it, now I'm not, I'm not preaching against smoking, but I tell you what, it's not good for you. Uh, but I will say this, uh, if you Google the lungs of a smoker and the lungs of a non-smoker, it'll show you a picture of a smoker. And, and the, the lungs, is the one that's smoking, the lungs is totally black. And the one, the non-smoker, the lungs is just looks good. Worry is that dangerous. Worry will kill you over a period of time. First Peter chapter five, verse seven, in the Amplified Bible says, casting all, casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, how much of them? All your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns once and for all on him for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. God does not want you to worry. When you worry, you lost hope. Hope doesn't worry. I'm talking about Bible hope, that is. Bible hope is a spirit of an expectancy. Bible hope is a breeding ground for miracles. So give it to God. Whatever you're going through, give it to God and don't touch it no more. And when you pray, say, God, I give this to and put this into your hands. And that's what you do. I remember my mother, and she's in heaven now. I, I remember her. Uh, Telling me one time that her youngest daughter, Linda, she said, I've talked to her so much about things. She said, I ain't gonna talk to her no more. I ain't gonna talk to her about that thing and going on in her life no more. I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. See, you give your children to God, don't worry. Don't lose hope. God, the Bible says, 
you shall be saved in your household. The Bible said the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Don't lose hope in your family. Don't lose hope in your marriage. Don't lose hope in your business. Don't lose hope in what God's called you to do. God can and will put you over. He said he will. He says, give it to me. I've got you. I've got your backside. I'll take care of you. You know, 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 5 says, uh, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Pull down those negative thoughts and trust God. God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Or let me say it this way. God says, my way of thinking is not your way of thinking. My way of doing things is not your way of doing things. Or the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways of doing things is higher than your ways of doing things. Take God's thoughts and don't worry. The Bible says, how can you, when you worry, how can you, by taking a thought, add one cubit to a statue? You can't, the only thing you do by worry is, is, is it makes it from bad to worse. Now, when you worry, you're doing something. You're in a rocking chair. You're rocking back and forth. You're doing something, but you're not going no place. Don't worry about what the doctor told you. Stay in the Word of God and keep abiding in the Word of God. Keep confessing the Word of God and hold fast, the Bible said, to that which is good and don't lose hope. See, when you start losing hope, you will be discouraged. You will be oppressed. You'll be grouchy. You'll be moody. You'll be hard to get along with because you lost hope. But come back to God. Jesus said, those that come unto me, I want to know why it's cast out. So don't worry about it. Hope lies in the word. Hope lies in the word. Hope comes from the word and the courage of those who dare to bring dreams into reality. You have dreams that you have not fulfilled yet. God will fulfill those dreams in your life if you just trust him. You know, Zig Ziglar said this one time, success is easy once you believe. Success, think about it. Success is easy once you believe. If you believe you can do it, you can do it. If you believe in your dream that it's real, you can do it. You can fulfill that dream. If you believe in Jesus being the healer, then he is your healer. You are born to win. But to be a winner, you must, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. I expect to win in every situation. Do you expect to win over this situation? If you are, then you have hope. Be against the natural hope that says it's impossible. The Bible said with God all things are possible to him that believes. To him that believes. You know, Psalms 100 and verse uh, and verse 5 talking about now I'm talking about don't lose hope there's so many people right now that they, they lost hope when you walk about and, and you see these homeless people don't be critical of them the only difference between you and them is Jesus you will not be where you are today if it wasn't for Jesus what do you do you pray for them pray for them amen if it wasn't for Jesus, you can be in the same position. A lot of them, they lost hope. So pray for them. Talk to them. Tell them about the good news of the gospel. The glorious gospel. Psalms 130 verse 5. I wait for the Lord. My soul does wait. And in his word, I do hope. In his word, I do hope. Now hopefully... When you tune into these services, 
I, I want to say things by the direction of the Holy Ghost that gives you hope. There is hope in these last days. Yes, we're living in the end times. We're living in the end times. I know that Jesus is coming again soon. We believe that. But I haven't lost my hope. The Bible says, Look, listen, looking for that blessed hope. God, looking for that blessed hope. Jesus will come back and get you one day and take you to heaven and you get to see all you kin folks, you relatives, those that went on before you. So don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. It says, I wait for the Lord, my soul does wait, and in his word do I, do I hope. I hope. See, Abraham had God's word that Sarah will have a child. Abraham had hope. Amen. Noah, when he built the ark, he had hope. He built the ark because he heard God. When God speaks to you, it gives you hope. And in his word do I hope. Jeremiah 1 12, then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen. For I will hasten my word to perform it. No matter what you're going through, if you have, if you've been believing God, don't give up on your faith. Don't give up on what you're believing God for. Hold fast. I know what Brother Hagin said. I never forget this, Brother Hagin. I cut my teeth on his teachings. Yes, I'm a word of faith guy. I believe in the word of faith. Amen. I, I believe in what the Bible says. But he made this statement that just stuck with me. He said, when you are determined to stand forever, when you're determined to stand forever, you'll get your healing. You can't be wishy-washy in faith. The Bible says a double mind, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Don't lose hope. It's easy to have hope when your bank account is full, you got plenty of money, your health is good. Oh, yeah, I'm, I got hope in God. But what happens when your bank account is empty and you're having physical problems? You can lose hope. But see, but when you stay with the Word of God, whether in the good times or the bad times, and be single-minded, a single-minded person would be blessed in all his ways. A double-minded person will not be blessed. He's unstable. The Bible says, God says, he will perform. If you are uh, having uh, something, a, a condition in your body, now you've heard me teach them before how to believe that you receive your healing. Hold fast to what you believe. And even right in the midst of pain, you say, Father, I thank you no matter what my body tells me. Lord, I thank you. Now this is hope. I'm telling you, this is hope. When you're going through crisis, when you're going through these things, you can, if it's physical condition, you say, Father, I thank you right now. My body tells me that I'm sick. My mind tells me that I'm sick. The doctor tells me that I'm sick. And, and there's no hope in the natural. But Father God, I understand that you are the God of truth. And you said in your word, no matter what my mind says, no matter what the doctor says, no matter what people say, no matter what my body, my mind tells me, I believe in your word. You said, Lord, in your word that you took my infirmities and that you bore my sicknesses. You said in your word that by your stripes I'm healed. You said in your word you wounded, you was wounded for my transgressions, you were bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon you, and by your stripes I'm healed. That's how you stay in hope, and it gives you hope. The Bible says you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of your testimony. Keep speaking God's word, even right in the midst of the situation. Keep speaking God's word right in the midst of the negative thoughts that come to you. You're going to have faith in your heart and doubt in your head. Because your head's doubt, no sign you're not in faith. Just change those doubts and turn it to shouts, victory shouts. And say, I'm not, I'm healthy, healed and whole. I am not the sick trying to get healed. I am the healthy and the devil's trying to rob me of my health. 
You say, I'm not sick trying to get healed. No. I'm the healthy. I'm always telling people I'm healthy, healed and whole. What, what, what I'm saying. I'll say it if I'm sick. I still say I'm healthy, healed and whole. Because I've got hope. I hope in his word. God says he will perform it. He will perform his word. That means performing. He'll carry it out. He will accomplish it. He will fulfill it. He will achieve it. Execute it. Finish it. Provide it. God's word is the most important thing you need right now. If you're not in church someplace, by all means, stay in the word. Stay in and listen to the word of God. Stay in it. You can't just live on Sunday morning teachings and, and, and Wednesday night teachings. This is an everyday, this is a life. This is your lifeline. The word of God is your lifeline. For my words, they're a spirit and they're a life. For as a father have, has, as a father have given son the life, he has given us his life. The life is in the word of God. Remember, Bible hope is expectancy. Expect to get better. Expect to overcome. You're a child of God. Expect to be healthy. You got his word. Expect to have your every need met. You got his word right in the midst of lack. You say, I've got more than enough because El Shaddai is with you. The God who is more than enough. God will take him. You don't moan and groan what you don't have. Just be joyous of what you do have. When you start rejoicing in what you do have, you get more. When you start moaning and groaning what you don't have, you lose more. It's up to you. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Let hope arise. And once again, let hope arise in your heart and start speaking God's word. Expectancy brings hope into reality. Expectancy is faith in action. Expectancy is anticipating. Amen. Because you know it's going to come up and appear in a time. You know, uh, in closing, one of my favorite scriptures, one of many favorite scriptures is Mark 11, 24. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, you shall have them. If you need healing, the Bible says, what things soever you desire when you pray, you need healing. Believe that you receive healing and you shall have healing. Believe that you receive and you shall have. You don't have yet. You only receive. Receive is spiritual. The having is the natural. It takes a while sometimes for the natural to catch up with the spiritual. In believing, you will receive. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive your healing. You can say, Father, I thank you. You said, this is an example. Father, you said in your word, if I ask, I shall receive. So Lord, I ask you to forgive me for this condition, David, this condition in my body. So I believe, according to your word, and then quote the scriptures, I believe that I receive my healing. Now, when are you healed? When you get it? No. When you receive it. You get your healing when you believe that you receive. You shall have. That means it will come to pass. You may not see it now, but you hold fast to the confession of your faith. Don't lose hope. The battleground right there, the battleground is in your mind. The battleground is in your mind. Amen. You win and lose battles every day. You got to hold fast. You got to keep that hope inside you. Hope. I, I, I believe that I'm receiving. I'm healed. I'm not healed because I feel like it. I'm not healed because I look like it. I'm not healed because I'm I'm healed because I believe that I'm healed. I put God first place. My hope is in his word. My hope is in his word. I'm healed because his word says I am. So therefore I'm expecting, I'm expecting my healing to manifest. I'm healed. I'm not trying to get my healing. 
I got my healing. The devil's trying to rob me of what I've already received. That's when Brother Hagin said, be determined to stay forever. And I can go on and on over the testimony of how I, I believe God right in the midst of the pain. I was determined to stay forever. And I got my healing. I always get my healing. Amen. Because I believe first that it shall. See, people don't understand that. I don't believe I'm healed until I get healed. Well, forget it. You gonna... If you believe in, if you don't believe God's word for healing, then you won't be healed. God confirms his word with signs following. Well, uh, God made me sick. Uh, I'm supposed to be sick to give him glory. Well, if, that, if, if that's the case, if you'll be sick, don't go to the doctor. Don't take medicine. Go ahead and die. That's what you want. No. You don't give God glory through sickness and disease. He gets the glory when you believe that you receive. And then the manifestation comes. Then you say, hey, look at me. I'm healed. Amen. Well, I will continue this in my next, next message. Don't lose hope. Though it tarries, wait for it. Stay in faith. We love you. God bless you. Until next time, Jesus is on your side and he's Lord. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Thank you for joining us at Living Word Church. Living Word Church McDonough is located at 185 Tunis Road, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. In-person services are held Sundays at 10 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Children's services are available every service for ages birth through 12 years old. If you would like to financially support this ministry, you can do so by using the Give Now button on our website at livingwordchurch.faith or by texting the word GIVE and the amount to 770-212-9591. Your financial donation will help us continue to support our community and do all God has called us to do. To find out more about Living Word Church, check out our website at livingwordchurch.faith. Thank you again for watching. See you next week.